Hi guys, you are watching IGCSEM Fingertips. I am Divyang and today I am going to teach you how do we draw ray diagrams, how do we trace ray diagrams for a converging lens. What is a converging lens? A lens that if a light, if a ray of light is coming through the lens, they converge to one point. This point is known as focus. In the same way, if the light are coming from right hand side, then they converge to this point. Again, this point is known as focus. The distance between this green and this yellow point is known as focal length. Right? The distance between this green and this yellow point is known as focal length. This pin is twice as distance as the focal length. This pin also as twice the distance as the focal length, we will understand the importance of focal length when we draw a ray diagram, right? So this white line is the principal axis. The white line is the principal axis. It is the point on which focus optical center are situated, right? Optical center is a point on the lens that when a ray of light passes through this point, it does not suffer any refraction. So let's get started. With the help of three rays, we are going to understand how to draw a ray diagram. So the first ray we have, the first ray is parallel to the principal axis, right? Until here, until here, this ray is parallel to the principal axis. Now the ray that is parallel to principal axis will pass through the focus, right? It has to pass through the focus after refraction, correct? Because this is a converging lens. Now let's look at the second ray. Let's look at the second ray. So the second ray, it is passing through the focus and after refraction becomes parallel, right? It must become parallel after refraction because it is exactly opposite of the other ray. If the first ray was parallel and passes through focus after refraction, this ray passing through focus becomes parallel to the parallel to the principal axis after refraction. So this is our second, sorry, this will be our second ray. Yes. Let's hope it stays. Okay. Now the third ray. The third ray we are going to observe is going to pass through the optical center. Now we have understood that the ray passing through optical center does not, does not suffer any refraction. So it passes straight without any refraction. It passes and this is the ray diagram thus forming. Now if you observe all the three rays are meeting at this point all the three rays are meeting at this point and therefore your image is formed here. Assuming all the three rays started just right here, right? All the three rays had just started here, then your image forms here. As you can see, as you can see, your object is longer than your image, right? It is still here for my finger. Let's see what is th this is. It is less than that, right? So here the image, here the image is diminished. It is, it is real because it is forming here, right on the other side of the lens. It is also inverted and obviously it is on the other side of the lens. So this is the main idea of how to draw ray diagram with converging lenses.